Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Anton here, and I'm really excited today because I just got early access to a new tool coming out uh, called Profile Mate. It's by Luke McGuire. Uh, he makes a ton of great software, and typically it's around uh, Instagram type of software. This particular tool is Instagram based, but it's very unique in that I see a great way to use it for local agencies. Now, there are a ton of other ways to use it, but I'm going to demonstrate uh, the way I want to try to implement this and um, you're going to be watching me over the shoulder as I you know, essentially set this up for one of my niche agencies. Uh, so over here on my screen, I'm on, I'm on the dashboard right now for Profile Mate and there's a bunch of other tools here that you can go through but really, like I said, I want to focus on two things here. Really, one, finding my target uh, audience, my best prospects that could possibly become clients in my agency. So I'm going to find those users here. Then once I find the, that list of users, I'm going to uh, put them into this analyze users section where I can get things like their email address, which by the way, um, if they've displayed it on Instagram, then it's fair game. Um, so we'll be able to email them, um, their website, uh, you know, you can look at other stuff like their follower count. For me, I just really want to find my ideal client, um, you know, organized with email addresses and phone numbers because that's essentially a highly targeted list that I'm going to be able to uh, reach out to via email and also um, uh, calling. So let me show you a funnel I built out that's going to implement all of this. All right, so here at the start, and I'll zoom in here so we can see everything and just kind of go step by step. So right here, this step one here for Instagram, that is profile made for all intents and purposes here. So I'm going to be doing a search, and actually let me show you how I set that up because I, I have it running right now. And all I did was come over here to the dashboard and I want to find users. And there are, other, there are ways you can find followers of followers uh, or of certain users, whatever makes the most sense for you or from certain locations. For me, um, I wanted to do it from a hashtag, at least to start. And the hashtag I used was moving company, right? So this is a, uh, a digital marketing agency serving moving companies. Um, so obviously I figured that if someone is using the hashtag moving company, it you know stands the reason that they are most likely a moving company business right there's not a whole lot of people who are psyched as a user who receive moving services to type hashtag moving company it might happen but a law of large numbers pretty much tells me that this is going to be a good hashtag so uh, i selected it just like this and then i click submit and i'm this is exactly what i did here so you could see moving company hashtag and it's running right now and right now it's at the 10,111. While this is running, you can download the data right away. That's completely fine. It downloads it as a, an Excel sheet. So let me just uh, show you that real quick. All right, so you can see it's loading this Excel sheet here. Actually, it's a CSV file. And I'll open that up and show you what it looks like. It's loading my other monitor. I'll just drag it over here in a second. All right. Um, so username, post link, so they're, they're linked to their Instagram and then their Instagram ID. These two columns, not really that important to me. The list of usernames are because once you get that, as you can see here, whoops, uh, let me go back. All right, so step one is find the users, right? I should do that from the hashtag. Step two is once you have all those users, you have to analyze them. So you come here and you paste that list of usernames in and that's what's running over here. So I pasted that list of usernames in and it's scanning and trying to find all the information possible for them. So right now you can see it's already found 864 email addresses. Um, I know some of these are also phone numbers and stuff like that, right? Um, so I'm gonna wait for this to run fully. It's almost done actually. It's uh, 10,009 out of 10,015. Um, so let me go ahead and just download the full data in CSV just in case this thing got stuck. I don't want to risk losing that. All right, so let's open this up and see what kind of customers are we getting here? Or possible, I should say prospects, right? Because this is what's possible. All right, so we've got the username, the full name, which in most of these cases, it looks like the full name is the moving company business itself, which is fine. Um, following, not that important to me. All right, public email, this is awesome. 
A lot of these have email addresses. This is really good because we're going to be emailing these guys about our case studies and, you know, essentially warming them up as to why they need to hire my agency for their services. Um, the other one I really want is phone number. All right, this is amazing.